Welcome to yet another Hog Blog. I'm James Crocker, President and CEO of Water Blasting Technologies. And I'm here today to talk to you about the value that you buy when you buy a water blasting machine. You know, everybody's focused on price these days, and that's great. But for more than 80% of our buyers, the purchase will be the first time that they've ever purchased a water blasting machine. And understanding exactly what they're purchasing is vitally important to your success and ours. So it's price versus what? Well, PSI, the GPM and liters per minute, which will translate directly into productivity, and that will be the thrust of our talk today. But there are many other factors. Water capacity, vacuum capacity, drive speed and roadworthiness. Can I drive this on the road or is it limited to my airport grounds? Flexibility of spray bar widths the dewatering capabilities, the debris handling, some people want to dump into dumpsters, uh, pump maintenance, you know, a lot of high pressure pumps are very complex. We have the only high pressure pump that does not require a torque wrench to work on it, nor a college education. The spare parts system, uh, we don't sell a spare parts package, it's a system ensuring that you have the parts you need before you actually need them. Operator training and certification program, we have the world's first certification program. There's a passing grade, there's a failing grade. We think if you ought to have a license to drive a car, you ought to have a license to drive a stripe hog. The continuing education, and then 24 seven, 365 uh, uh, day customer support, vitally important to your long-term success. So to get around to the most glaring example of how different values are brought by different systems, have about seven or eight examples of recent tenders at airports where we were the high bidder but were awarded the contract. In this first example, you'll notice that uh, we actually bid 12 gallons a minute and that translates into $53,000 uh, per gallon. We had a competitor that was much, high, much lower than us in the price. They were much lower. They were the, a lower bidder, it would appear, but their system was only six gallons a minute, which translates into $103,000. So you can see that uh, we appeared to be high, but we were actually low. Many other examples are contained here, and really what you need to pay attention to is the fact that the gallons per minute at pressure will be a huge determining factor in the productivity of that machine. Sure, there are other factors, but it is a horsepower calculation. In fact, if you want to know what it is, GPM times PSI divided by 1714, and then an efficiency equation will determine how many horsepower you need to drive that unit. Horsepower, whether it's a lawnmower, an airplane, an excavation machine, or your car, will determine the power or the productivity of that vehicle. Water blasters are no different. Rather than go through line by line, suffice it to say, all these are airport examples. Now in these two, we were actually low bidder. Red numbers represent low bidder, uh, but you can see, although slightly low here, Look at the difference in the prices as calculated by gallons per minute, right? We're less than half. So be sure you take that into equation and consult with your uh, city officials, however your tendering process works, and make sure you make allowance for that. If you tendered for a lawnmower, for sure you could apply a different value for a 10 horsepower lawnmower than a five horsepower lawnmower sitting beside it. So, you know, some other uh, things I'd like to take a look at here is uh, if you just switch to the next screen here, you know, having a 12 gallon a minute really is exactly the same as having two side-by-side -side six gallon per minute units. If you want to double the productivity of a six gallon minute machine, well, just buy another one. And you'll be happy to know that we do supply units all the way from 5.1 up to 12 gallons per minute. So there's a wide range to choose from if, in fact, your budget uh, requires that. 
Um, using the correct spray bar size, this is another really common mistake that I see. Um, you know, you've heard it said that bigger is not always better, right? Well, in, in this case, uh, if you have a 36 inch wide spray bar and you're attempting to remove curing compound from concrete necessary to place a six inch wide line, you're wasting all of the power and energy outside of that, that necessary clean space, right? And, and it just, it's gonna take you about six times as long to, to, to clean the, ne the needed area. And so we offer a wide variety of, of spray bars, you can see here, all the way from 15 centimeters, um, all the way up, if you put two side by side, uh, uh, 72 uh, inches or six feet, two meters. Um, so this allows you to do a wide variety of paths on, on our dual head systems. You can even uh, remove a double yellow and leave the space in the middle untouched. Isn't that amazing? Uh, and then, of course, for wide rubberized area, you've got a two meter wide pass. And the dual head system really just gives you tremendous flexibility in enabling you to maximize your productivity on the intended target uh, without taking excess time or subjecting the underlying surface to unnecessary impact from the high pressure. So, you know, one last example, and we'll call it a wrap is our incredible customer support team. This gives an example of a call we received uh, earlier this year. At 10.30 in the morning, um, a, a failure occurred and that airport had FAA inspection in just seven days. Well, by 10.35, we had the part uh, assembled for the next flight out. By 11 a.m., the plane ticket has been purchased and by 12 p.m., uh, the part is loaded onto a vehicle and the passenger, a technician, uh, who happened to be my own brother, was on a plane and headed for that airport. By 5.30 p.m., the part and the technician arrived, and by 11 p.m. that very night, they were back in order and running. We have over nine languages supported here. We support uh, machines in over 50 countries now, and we're here 24-7. Our commitment is to answer the phone within 10 minutes of your phone call. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. We're here for you to make sure that you and your operation are successful, and we know that when we do that, we're also going to be successful. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for uh, watching and learning, and we hope you'll be with us next time for our next uh, hog blog. Thank you again.